Hi, today, <laughs> why did that just sound like I was gonna do like a, what was that Disney Channel thing that Bella Thorne did where she had dyslexia? Oh, a TTI, the time I something. Hi, my name's Avery Ovard, and today I'm gonna tell you the story of the time I turned myself into a sugar baby. <laughs> I don't even like saying that. Actually, instead of just telling you, you're gonna witness it, because that's what today's video is. Is this a good idea? <coughs> I already have so many weird old men in my DMs. I might as well <laughs> dress the part. <laughs> my mom's gonna like watch this video and be like, dude, is this really what you do in your free time? Yeah. <laughs> It is, mom. Sorry, sorry, now I feel bad. I thought of this video idea kind of a while ago. It's been sitting in my notebook and my list of video ideas and I was like, okay, I could do this, but like, that's kind of inappropriate because sugar babies, like, if you don't know what a sugar baby is, it's basically someone who dates like some older guy. <laughs> I obviously am not trying to make this sexual. Like just even thinking about me, like looking like that is already make, making me uncomfortable, but I thought this would be fun and I wanted to do it. So I'm still going to. I'm not trying to like make this sexual in any way. Okay. I'm not. So once again, old man, leave me alone, please. Unless you just want to pay me like for nothing, that's fine. Then you can hit me up. But like, if you want something, leave me alone. <laughs> Go find someone else that's actually maybe like of age. This is kind of like a transformation video, I guess. That word is kind of like overused, but I don't even care. Anyway, so I'm just gonna do like some hair, makeup, outfit. I also got some accessories, if you will. So I'm gonna start by showing those and then I'm gonna go into makeup and hair. That's not even like the main focus of the video. Like, I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess it is. I'm gonna show you guys what props I got. Props. I just barely got them from Amazon like an hour ago. So. <laughs> have my address on it nope I don't really remember what I bought even though I literally bought this like two days ago so for my inspiration for this I like looked at some stuff on Pinterest and it was just like what did I even look up I looked up like sugar baby aesthetic or something why did I just start foaming at the mouth that was weird I looked up like sugar baby aesthetic and it was more like I don't even know I have like an image of my mind of like what I want this to look like. I don't know, okay? I'm just gonna go with it. So first thing I got, I got some Bretts. I could not find Bretts that was just maybe like four or six. Like there's a ton, which is fine. But I think I'm gonna use like the pink and the white ones maybe, we'll see. The next thing I got is a shirt. I got this pink crop top. I don't really own any hot pink. You know what? It will work, okay? It will work, it's fine. It's like very see-through, but like it's fine. I'll make it work. Oh my God, I just remembered what I bought. I literally I have the worst memory ever. I literally placed this order two days ago. I got some pink suckers for pictures. I'd swag. And then, why did I get this? I got some pink flowers. Also for pictures, I don't know. Uh, I'll find something to do with it. <laughs> They're so bent. Ew. Ew, they smell like seafood. It smells like fish, that is so gross. Okay, you know what? It'll be fine, just for the picture. I'm practicing, hold on. But like, I'll actually look pretty. And like, you can like send me money. Okay, good enough, okay. So those are my props and my accessories I bought for makeup. I'm going for like a very like young, like pinky blush, pink lipstick. I don't think I'm gonna spike up my eyebrows like I usually do because that's too edgy apparently. I'm gonna move on to the ground because I um, need to because that's where my makeup is. So actually, I'm gonna change shirts really fast. Yeah, I'll see you down there. <laughs> This is, I don't know why I'm telling you this. I own one bra that's like a real bra that's like, you know, like a real bra and I'm wearing it right now. I have not worn this in probably like two years. Good to know I still have the same boob size that I had two years ago because this still, it fits, you know? Anyways, I was right and this was very, very see-through. I had like a pink bralette that I was like, oh, I'll just wear that under it. But it was very like textured and you could like see all the texture through the shirt. So I was like, maybe I'll like actually wear like a regular bra for once. So that's what I'm doing. I haven't worn this in so long and it feels kind of weird, but it's whatever. I need water. I also put on this little choker. I don't know where this is from. I literally had like three of these I think from different places and then like two of them broke. I don't know This could probably be from like urban or probably even like brandy. I don't I don't know I'm starting off with makeup. Like I said, I'm just trying to do like natural like I don't want to say innocent because that gives it like a sexual vibe Like oh, I'm trying to look all innocent, but like <laughs> I don't know. I'm already uncomfortable doing this. Let's see what's cracking with this makeup. I should wash my hands. Be sanitary, people. I want to look just as perfect as I possibly can. I don't know, it won't be too much work. 
I'm so funny. I'm gonna start off with some skincare because I feel like it. So I'm gonna use some moisturizer. This video is not sponsored, but this brand sent me this moisturizer and it's actually really good. It's mattifying, I think. This isn't sponsored, like I said, they just sent it to me. Literally for the longest time, when I was in like seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, I was so flat chested, which is fine. It's literally not a big deal. My friends would like all make fun of me for it because they all like had boobs and I was like, I get it. I understand I don't have boobs. It just wasn't in my genetics to actually have boobs. But I feel like this last year or two, I've like actually got them now. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're small but they're there. If you don't have boobs, it's fine, no matter how old you are. And if you're still young and all your friends have them and you don't, you might get them. You never know. And you might not, and that's fine. Oh my God. I have like a path behind my backyard and little kids walk through it all the time. And they, I just like heard a little kid and I literally thought I was hearing like a voice in my head. Never gonna quit it, no, I'm never gonna quit it, no, I'm never gonna quit it if you don't stop smoking it. Normally, I would use some BB cream, but I think today I'm gonna go all out and I'm gonna use some actual foundation just because I want my skin to look as perfect as physically possible. And that foundation is really, really light coverage and I have not used this foundation in a super long time. And okay, actually it doesn't look too bad. I was gonna say I have self tan. I have self tanner on, so I don't know how this is gonna look, but that's actually not bad. I used to really like this foundation and now I feel like it's not really doing the job. I don't, I don't know what changed. Did I just get uglier? So now I just, I don't know, maybe, probably. No, I take it back. I take it back, I didn't get uglier. This foundation just got old. Still going with that perfect skin look. I'm gonna use some concealer just under my eyes. I'm gonna be real for a second. I have had so many experiences where I have like gotten the short end of the stick. I really truly believe that the universe is like giving me good karma by keeping my skin clear. My skin has been doing so good for the last like four months. My skin has been doing so good and I really think that's how the universe is repaying me and good karma is good skin. Thank you, universe. I love you. I appreciate you. Recently, my style has been super, I don't wanna say edgy because if I say edgy, everyone like gets offended and they're like, this isn't edgy because I'm not like wearing fishnets or something and not like listening to 21 Pilots. I don't even know what to call it or what to like label it. I just don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what it is, but it's definitely not pink in a uh, sugar baby aesthetic. This is a good change for me. Moving on to blush. I'm gonna use this Glossier blush. It's so peachy and it's so cute. And I think it's just really gonna make this look amazing. And I think on top of this, I'm gonna use this dandelion blush because it's also just light pink and super cute The blush I usually use is this milk makeup and it's pretty dark No one cares because this I don't know just I feel like no one really cares I'm just speaking my plans out loud, you know cute cute. All right, there we go And you already know I'm gonna put some on my nose like every other girl does or everyone else who wears makeup does because it's just so cute And it goes with the look and the aesthetic. I have so many people constantly telling me like oh like how did you find your aesthetic i'd never know how to answer that question because like i didn't i just dress how i like to dress and i do what i want to do and i wear what i want and that's it i have seen like so many things it's like oh like how to achieve your aesthetic and there's so many labels like oh like there's like the art ho that listens to like tyler the creator or there's like the edgy girl that wears doc martens and um probably has like black hair maybe i don't know and then there's like i don't know you guys know what i'm getting at but basically when i was younger labels were just such a weird thing to me i just went through a weird phase where i was like oh i want to be this and then as i grew up i changed and my opinions changed so i was like oh i want to be this like for example i had this weird phase where i only wanted to wear black and white clothes i spent like six hundred dollars on asos which is way too much money on just black and white clothes just black and white that's it. Nothing else. No color, no nothing. I don't know why. And I was like, yep, this is what I'm gonna wear for the rest of my life. Black and white. Obviously, it didn't last and I didn't wear a lot of those clothes, so I donated them. I don't know. All I'm trying to say is that, especially if you're young, like 7th, 8th, or ninth grade, I feel like that's such a hard point in people's lives and there's so many people that are older that are just like oh like you're barely even in high school like you're just a preteen or barely a teen you have no idea about issues or emotions or things that can be wrong and that's not true that time period that i said was the worst time of my life so if you have younger siblings or something that are going through a hard time with identity or self-discovery or anything like that just let them be them because that's so important but without all those weird 
phases in my life, I wouldn't be who I am now. And I'm still probably going through phases now and I just don't know it, but I don't know. All I'm trying to say is let people be them and you be yourself. And I know that's so cliche and it's definitely still something that I'm working on, but don't feel like you have to fit into some box because you don't and you can do whatever you like. And if you do fit into some box, great. Awesome. I'm sure there's a lot of other people in that box that you would get along with really well. I don't know. This is just something that I've struggled with. My feet are falling asleep. Ow. This is just something that I've struggled with, obviously, that like you can tell because I'm so passionate about it. I don't know. I had people in my life that always just made me feel bad for like a certain phase I was in. Or not even a phase. It's, I don't want to call it a phase because I feel like that also has like a, neg a negative connotation, but it's more like a state of life, even if it's short or even if it's longer. Um, for example, that monochromatic outfit dressing didn't last very long, but the style that I've been wearing now has been going on a little bit longer, you know? So I don't know. Maybe I'll dress like that for the rest of my life. Maybe I won't. I don't know. And it's fine. Okay, next, I'm gonna put on just a tiny bit of bronzer and just try and make my face look really, really defined. I don't know why. That's not really like a thing for like what I'm going for, but I still want some face structure because I was not blessed with a nice jawline or a good cheekbone. So um, yeah, let's go for this. I had someone DM me the other day and they, maybe it was a comment, I don't know, but they were basically like, I feel like you found your style and I'm so happy for you. And that comment made me happy, but I was also like, oh, I don't know, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't know, it's just really not a big deal. I just want y'all to know that like, I'm the exact same as you. I'm literally just a regular 16 year old girl. Like I see other people online and I am like, oh, like I wanna be like them, I wanna dress like them. And that's totally fine to take inspiration from them, but don't feel like you have to form your life around some certain aesthetic, form the aesthetic around around you and conform it to who you are. I don't know, that's just my personal opinion and thoughts, but this has just been something I've wanted to talk about for like a long time because still like to this day, I get so many um, DMs and messages that are like, how did you find your aesthetic? And it's like, well, I didn't. I'm just, I just am who I am. I dress like I wanna dress. I find inspiration from something and if I like it, then I take pieces and bits Ew, pieces and bits? Ew, who says that? I take bits and pieces from things that I like and other things that I like and form that around my personality and who I am. And it's so much easier said than done. Trust me, I know this. I know it's so much easier said than done and it's such a long process of trying to decide what you like and what you don't like. I am the most indecisive person ever. Where's my nose contour brush? For God's sakes. Hold on, I'll finish this in just a sec. I just gotta snatch my nose real quick. Maybe if this actually does attract a sugar daddy, he'll pay for me to get a nose job, so I won't have to do this, but my nose is already cute and that was a joke, so yeah, there you go. Done with that, back to what I was saying. I can't remember what I was saying, but I hope it wasn't that important because I don't remember. Oh no, I remember now. I was saying how I'm a very indecisive person and that is very, very true still. I also can be very impulsive. As I said, when I spent $600 on clothes and then I got them and I was like, hmm, yeah, my style has changed already. I'm out of this black and white phase because I am not as depressed as I was two days ago. I really do think your emotions have like a lot to do with like what phase you're in. So just be aware of that. I'm going for like a soft eyebrow look. I'm not gonna fill them in too much because my eyebrows are already pretty thick. Moral of the story, last thing I'm gonna say is I know it's so hard and it's so much easier said than done, but be yourself and don't try to be something you're not. And I know it's hard even to do that because sometimes you're just not conscious of it. And it really does take like a lot of self-awareness to take a step back and be like, hmm, Maybe I'm trying to be something that I've seen on Instagram 10 million times. I get an odd amount of hate for my eyebrows considering that they're my best feature. Mm, kind of weird. Next thing I'm gonna do is highlighter. So whenever I have self tanner on, I like to use this one. This is Sunbeam. I've had this for literally so long. I don't know where I got it or how I own it, but I have it. My family's home, can you hear them? They're all talking to my dog. I have this lighter coverage highlighter that's like just very, I don't even know. I don't even know, but I'm gonna use it, okay? I'm gonna throw on some mascara really quick, but no one really cares, so hold on. I'm back, mascara is on. Time for lips. For lips, I have this blush that is also for lips, but it is very, very like Barbie pink. So I don't have a pink lipstick because I don't wear pink lipstick. So that this is what I'm gonna use. So I feel like the lips are like the biggest part, you know? There's that, and then on top, I have this like hologra holographic, is that the right word? I have this very pink sparkly lip gloss. So you all already know it's going right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Ugh. I look so kissable. Wow. <coughs> okay, I curled my hair. It's, it's okay. Jesus, I curled my hair. It's obviously not done. I haven't like done anything to it besides actually curl it. I'm just waiting for my curls to like set a little bit. I usually never curl my hair this tight. If I do it, it's a lot looser and like messy. I'm still gonna make it messy, but I just use a different wand than I usually would. My hair looks so greasy because it is. Okay, the weirdest part is like the top part, but I'm gonna put it down with some barrettes. I, oh my god, I haven't even held a barrette since like literally third grade. Ew! I hate that! I hate it! Wait, oh my god, I hate that. I hate that so much. I thought I could actually pull that off. What was I thinking? Oh my god, no. I hate it. Oh my god, I hate it so much. Ew! I should have not flipped my hair over my hair over and then sprayed it. I should have like flattened it a little bit. I just wanted my hair to still like have some volume because it's so flat usually. I hate that. I hate that. Wait, I might go have my mom help me. <laughs> mom! Okay, <laughs> I had to have my mom help me. I decided that the double breaths on both sides just, it's a trend for some people, but not for me. If I put them on this side, I literally just look bald and it's just never cute. So what other accessories do I have? Okay, I just have the flowers and the sucker. So the rest is just kind of taking like a picture to try and like embody ev everything. I'm gonna try and take some pictures now, some selfies or something. We got it. <laughs> so this is like kind of the finished looked, looked nice. You can see my fan in the back. <laughs> I'm already uncomfortable. Ew, <laughs> I hate it. I also don't like bubble gum. So actually this is not bad. I just lied. Let's take some pics. Ew, these literally smell like fish. I am like Canada when she got her wisdom teeth out. <laughs> I need to like, <laughs> I can't hold these because I need to hold a sucker to like. <laughs> yeah. That was the end of this video. I know it wasn't like some crazy transformation. This is just something that I would never do. I would never, oh my gosh, I forgot. I have one more prop. <laughs> Um, I mainly got this just for the thumbnail because I feel like people would click on it But I could definitely I could take some pictures with it too That is the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was entertaining. Thanks for watching Don't take anything I do or said too seriously and I love you guys and I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye Mwah. Ah, that is so funny.